part four, we will continue with prime factorization and look at a few examples. You will find this on page eight in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, let's start by looking at example three. Write 420 as the product of prime factors, giving your answer in index notation. Very important, index notation. Now, let's first look at repeated division. Can you still remember that we use prime numbers as divisors? So what is my first prime number 2? Let's just write the first few down. Then 3, then 5, then 7, then 11, and I can continue. So, let's start with the first prime number 2. So, 420 divided by 2 will give me 210. Due to the fact that it's ending on a 0, I continue with 2. So, 210 divided by 2 will be 105. Now, if I look... The last number is not an even number, so I have to move on to another prime number. Let's test for free. Now, be, due to the fact that the digits add up to 6, 1 plus 0 plus 5 will be 6, and 6 is divisible by 3, I know that 3 will also divide into 105. So 105 divided by 3, what will that be? 35. I cannot continue with 3 because 5 plus 3 will give me 8 and 3 is not divisible into 8. So I continue to the next one, 5. 35 divided by 5, what will that be? 7. And I have to continue until I have 1. So 7 divided by 7, that will give me 1. So here on the left will be the product of prime factors. So that will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. But don't forget that I asked you to write it in index notation. So count the 2's. There are 2 2. So it's 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Now let's look at this second method, the factor trees. I start by using two factors. It's not necessary that you start by two. You can take any two factors of 420. So um, actually it's going to be a factor pair because 10 times 42 will give you 420. Now this is not prime numbers so I split it up again into factor pairs. So now I can take two. Two times five will be ten. That's both prime numbers. So I put a circle around them. Then 42, I can say 6 times 7. 7 is a prime number, so I encycle that number. Then take 6. 6 can break, split into 2 times 3. So just write it now numerical. So that will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. It's exactly the same. And then don't forget to write it in index notation. So there are two twos, so two to the power two times three times five times seven. Now, I want you to stop the video and then first do this question and then as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I'm going to take one, two, six, and I'm going to write the prime, I'm going to do prime factorization with 1 to 6. And I'm going to start with the method repeated division. Okay, don't forget that we are using our prime numbers as divisors. So start with 2. If I say 1 to 6 divided by 2, I will get 63. It's not an even number, so continue. 6 plus 3 will give me 9. It's divisible by 3, so I know that 3 will also divide into 63. 
So let's continue. 63 divided by 3 will give me 21. So I can continue with 3. That will give me 7. And then 7, that will give me 1. So basically, that will be 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. But don't forget that I said index notation. So in, that is in factor form. But if I ask index notation, the final, there are 2, 3, so 3 to the power 2 times 7, and that will be index notation. Okay, that is method 1. Now, let's do method 2, which will be factor trees. So basically, I will now again take 1 to 6, and I'm looking for two numbers that will be factors, but will also give me a pair. So if I say, for example, 9 times 14, that will give me 1 to 6. Now, if you look at these numbers, you will see both of them are not prime numbers. So I can again go and split them. So, take 9, that can be split into 3 times 3, and then both of them will be prime numbers. And then 14, that will be 2 times 7. Both of them are again prime numbers. So, if I write it in factor 3, threes, it will be 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. That will be factor form. But don't forget that I asked it in index notation. So that will be in index notation. Just take note. You do not have to do it with both methods. You can decide you will either do it with method 1 or with method 2. It's just good practice to practice both methods.